Hi guys, welcome back. This time we're making a shower. <laughs> So first off, I went and I scavenged an old piece of uh, porch, all right? This right here was attached to my porch over here as like a ramp years ago. Um, but since then, it's been removed in favor of the stairs, which it had, it had both a ramp and stairs. But it, it was like a ramp going up to a set of stairs into the house, right over, right over there. <laughs> um, but it, it so even if it was supposed to be like wheelchair accessible it still wouldn't have been because you would still have had to climb one two three stairs you had to climb three stairs to get up there so it still wouldn't have been wheelchair friendly whatsoever um i mean it's better than it is now but you know neither of us have wheelchairs neither, neither of us will be in wheelchairs anytime soon and i think i know uh i know two people in wheelchairs right now one's my uncle's wife if they're still married i don't know i haven't talked to him in like 15 years something like that and not even getting there it was a christmas um and the other one is my friend's daughter but neither of them will be coming out here anytime soon right uh they both live back on the the west coast so we don't have to worry about that so i went and i grabbed this right here it's got obviously it's got the lines through, like the holes through it right there so you're able to have drainage right and we're up on uh the edge of a slope so all the land underneath us is sloping down to the ditch down there so all the water we use will go down to the ditch but um more on that for for a second uh we use all biodegradable and uh as natural soaps as possible so anything that we put out there will be degraded within a day or two and it's it's not going to harm any of the wildlife I've actually taken buckets of this water and just poured it on our our uh, garden bed before. And and when we get the bathhouse, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use the the bathhouse to um, to water our garden. So it, it's all natural. It's all safe. It's all good to go. Um, so as for parts, all I did was I went and I picked up this bucket right here from a local hardware store, and I put in a hole. And there's a car coming. That hole is the sun. Hold on. Our neighbor just passed. Uh, we met her the other day. She's super awesome. Uh, she has horses and something right over here. Uh, and then I picked up uh, a master plumber uh, spray nozzle. This this right here is for your uh, for like a sink faucet. All right, so you can have that little squirt nozzle. That's what that is. All right. I figure it's uh, it's low flow, so it'll give us um, uh, that that. Uh, it'll elongate how much water we have in here you know it'll go through slowly but because we're going to be winching it up right because we're going to be winching it up it's going to give it that pressure that you want so uh i took i took and i already opened this up right it has a adapter piece from uh, i think this is uh about a quarter inch to about half inch right and because it has that little feature there all right this unscrews all right there you go all right see it unscrews so you have both sides that you need already all right it has the the adapter right here will screw onto this end after you put this through the bucket all right and the only other thing you need for that is a little o-ring a little washer not washer what do you call it um it's an o-ring what, what is another name for it a gasket okay so you put this, okay, so you put this through the bucket, put a gasket on, screw this down, all right? That's, that's the hardest part, all right? I took off the handle right here, so the handle can fit through the pulley, all right? Now, the reason why I have pulleys here is because we're talking about water, all right? Water gets pretty heavy. It's, it's uh, eight pounds per gallon. This is five-gallon bucket. Do the math, all right? I, for one, don't want to be hauling uh, 40 pounds of water up, the, uh, up the, the side of this tree, you know, without having some mechanical advantage, right? And for the cost of two standard, uh, neighbor's passing again, <laughs> for 
for the cost of two two standard pulleys. That's all this is. It's just a standard little pulley, right? And a uh, eye hook up there. All right? I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there you go. An eye hook up there, all right? Um, you could have vastly superior uh, mechanical advantage on it. So what you do is you tie one end of the rope to the, uh, the eye hook, okay? Then you put uh, two, uh, uh, two pulleys on the line, all right? The far pulley, though the one that's furthest away from the, the knot, all right, you put through the eye hook, all right? So you put the eye hook through that, that pulley, all right? I'll show you that real quick. I don't know if you saw that or not, but all it, all it is is the, the eye hook, right? Screw, put straight through there and then screwed into the tree. This right here is then able to dangle between the two. So like you have the one up there and the one down here, right? This one right here, you put on, on your handle so that it'll pull it up, right? Just by pulling on this, pulling on the, the, the loose end, all right? And I've seen people and I've been a part of, uh, um, a squad of, of uh, actually it was just a team, right? P flipping a car with uh, with pulleys in this system, right? They were a little bit bigger than this, obviously, but I mean it's it's not hard. It's the same system that that you'd use to flip a vehicle or winch and haul up anything. It it, it makes it way more simple to to pull things up and down. So that 40 pounds of water is now drastically reduced, all right? And it makes it so much easier to to haul it up there. All right, I'm going to put this together real quick. I already told you how to do it. Um, and then I'll show you when, uh, after I, I get the, all the pieces together and I get some water in it. All right, guys, here it is all winched up, all right? It's, uh, it's got a little bit of water in it. It's got a small, small leak, but that's okay. I mean, it's, it's literally only for showers. Um, see, it's got a little bit of pressure in it. And that, that's literally this much water, just enough water to get over the, the nozzle right there, you know. Um, and if I wanted to, I could I could put another eye hook up there and winch it all the way up to the top. If I really wanted to, and get uh, not all the way up, but long enough so we're able to reach this. Because hold on, let's stay on the platform. For me right here, this is this right here is not going to be much uh, much room for me to to shower in. I'm gonna have to like sit down and shower in this. But this right here is perfect for Cheyenne, and that's the point right there. Is wifey wanted a shower wifey gets a shower <laughs> you know um the rain bath back there just wasn't enough for her and uh taking a shower in the rain she just wasn't having that i mean we did it because we stunk you know it'd been uh what like four days since our last shower so yeah yeah we we took a shower in the rain um and we you know baby bath or baby wipe washed you know all that kind of stuff but this right here is a huge upgrade um, it's, it's a major step forward for us and now we're able to shower regularly and not have to worry about as much uh, The only cost is the cost of the water and uh, As soon as I get those tanks that I showed you before uh, cleaned out and uh, and uh, Filled up all right. We, we should be good to go We take as many showers as we want, you know um, There's no way that we're gonna be using uh, 600 gallons almost of water for showering, you know, um, and uh, having this SUV right here, you know, we're not able to just haul those around. I can't put that put them on top. I can't put them in the back. So my buddy's gonna come down. He's a contractor. He's gonna come down with his uh, work truck and his trailer, and uh, we're gonna pop, we're gonna pop them on the back, take them down to the car wash or to the uh, municipal water. Everything that's in there is food grade, so car wash would be absolutely fine. Um, and clean the heck out of them. We want to make sure they are clean. I mean, like, like clean enough that, that you want to drink out of it, because that's what we're going to do, you know. Uh, we can go and get uh, water from the municipal source, or my buddy who's the contractor, Tim, he's freaking awesome. He's willing to, to with one of his totes, you know, 20 bucks a load. Or, or I, I forgot exactly, it might have been 40 bucks a load, I can't remember, but that's still... For for uh, um, almost 600 gallons of water, 40 bucks isn't bad. That's what you're what we were paying in town. You know, that's what we were paying when uh, when we were renting that that uh, the room out of that house, or when we had a trailer 
and all that so that's not bad at all and until I can get a rain catchment or um, a well drilled this is gonna work just fine and I'm stoked for the shower and Cheyenne's getting ready right now I'm not gonna show you that obviously for obvious reasons all right don't even think about it you guys especially you over there I know that you're dirty and you're thinking about it don't even think about it you don't get to see her she's mine all right anyways all right um, that's it for this time you guys and I hope to see you guys next time when we have something else going on all right I, I don't know what's gonna be yet I'll pull something out of my butt and and throw it up you know actually we could always do one on the outhouse but that's gross and I don't want to do that yet because what we have planned for that is so much better than what is there so uh, we might push pause on that one until we get the other projects going because it's good enough for now not good enough to change so I'll do it one do a, an update on that once we start to change it because all it is is a standard uh, poop in a bucket kind of outhouse you know uh, yeah have a good one you guys and I hope to see you tomorrow